Hi, this video is a tutorial on how to set up and use the MIDI effects plugin called Harmony Bloom by Mario Nieto World and Logic Pro. Utilizing Harmony Bloom's multi channel MIDI output capability. Harmony Bloom is a MIDI generator plugin that uses geometry patterns that are customizable to create musical and polyrhythmic sequences in a limitless number of ways. If you do not have the plugin, I highly recommend it. And it's only 29 euros, which as of the time of this video is about $31. The notes that Harmony Bloom generates are triggered by these bars called trigger bars. And there are eight of them. And each trigger bar can be routed to a separate MIDI channel, which allows for complex sound layering with only a single instance of Harmony Bloom. Multi-channel routing of MIDI generators appears to be a lot easier in other DAWs like Bitwig or Ableton Live. And actually, Apple makes this a breeze in Logic Pro for iPad. But for the desktop, it's a little more convoluted. However, Logic Pro 11 makes this a bit easier than in previous versions by adding two new features for MIDI that were not available in earlier versions. These features are the new internal MIDI in in the track inspector window and the input monitoring on software instrument tracks. Using these two features together allows multi-channel MIDI routing from MIDI effects plugins like Harmony Bloom much easier and less glitchy than in previous versions of Logic. So if you haven't updated to Logic Pro 11, do that now before continuing on with this tutorial. And if you don't see an input monitoring button, don't worry, I'll show you how to display that in a minute. So we are going to start with the new Logic Pro project with a single software instrument track. The first thing we are going to do is add Harmony Bloom to the MIDI effects slot and open the plugin. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to use Harmony Bloom as there are already many videos on that and it's quite simple. But in the middle is this large circle that dominates the user interface and this displays the chosen geometry as well as the trigger bars. There are a total of eight trigger bars, and you can turn on or off each one by clicking the little circles on the ring. I'm going to click on the gear icon in the top right corner, which opens the settings menu, and here is the routing for each trigger bar. And we are going to simply assign each trigger bar to a different MIDI channel like so. So if you want each trigger bar in Harmony Bloom to be routed to a different MIDI channel, whereby the note will play a different instrument, you can either add a new instrument track for each of those MIDI channels, or you can simply create just one instrument track and load a multi-output instrument into it, like Contact. So I'm just going to do that offline and I'll be right back. This next step is to use the two new Logic Pro 11 features for MIDI routing out of Harmony Bloom to each of our instrument tracks. So starting at the top, go to Track Inspector and you will see this new Internal MIDI In option. Click on this and what you will see is nothing. It will just say Off. This is because we haven't yet loaded an instrument into the instrument slot of our track that has Harmony Bloom on it. So the first thing we need to do is load an instrument into that track. And I will usually just use Sampler but you can choose any instrument you want. However, whatever instrument you choose here will play all MIDI notes from all channels that are coming from Harmony Bloom. And we don't want to hear anything from this instrument, so either turn the volume fader completely down or just mute the track. So now let's go back to our first real instrument. And if we click on Internal MIDI In, you will now see you have an option to select whatever instrument you just inserted onto the Harmony Bloom track. Now this instrument will be listening for MIDI note messages that come from the instrument assigned to Harmony Bloom track. But we only want it to listen to those notes assigned to MIDI channel 1. So the next step is to click on MIDI in channel and select MIDI channel 1. And then we just have to repeat these steps for the other seven instrument tracks. Okay, the last step is to turn on input monitoring on each of our instrument tracks. If you don't see a button for this, it's simple to add it. 
you just right click somewhere here on your track header and then go down to where it says track header components. Then you just make sure that input monitoring is selected and now that button will show up for you. But if you are running an earlier version of Logic Pro, this won't add the input monitoring to your software instrument tracks as input monitoring was only available on audio tracks in prior Logic Pro versions. So we should now be able to hit play and let Harmony Bloom do its thing. First, I'll turn on cycle and set it to eight bars. And then I'll turn the tempo down. Now the reason you aren't hearing anything yet is because I don't have Harmony Bloom set to play automatically when using my DAW transport controls which you can do by clicking on this little link symbol at the bottom left of the plugin. Now if we hit play in our DAW, you will hear Harmony Bloom get to work. And right now, we are only listening to this last instrument play because it is the only one where we have input monitoring turned on. So we can turn these on one at a time or all at once, and you should hear the rest of the instruments join in. You should be able to use the same concepts with pretty much all other multi-channel MIDI effects plugins out there, including generators and other sequencers. And like I said earlier, you could also just load a multi-output instrument like Contact into one instrument track and then create eight channels within the instrument to accomplish the same thing. And lastly, you can also do this same process to control external gear like hardware synthesizers or pretty much anything with MIDI channel in and out. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps you. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any questions. Bye for now. Thank you.